today. From CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. This is the NFL on EA Sports. see Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks taking on Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams. We are just about set for football at CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. A few moments ago, they raised the 12th man banner and this place, as usual, rocking and rolling. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. Utah Ute Matt Gay to get this one started and off we go from Seattle fielded in the end zone and he opts to not bring this one out the first drive will start at the 25 Russell Wilson leads out the Seattle Seahawks offense the veteran Wilson a third round pick back in 2012 gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago one of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there the beginning of his career he was a so-called game manager take care of the football and rely on the defense now in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. Mike, Mike with the team. Okay, we got to get this stop here, D. Mike Bartnari, Mike Bartnari. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that is incomplete. He took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again. Wilson, he goes right back to Metcalf, this time complete. They get six, that'll leave him with third and four. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down by about a yard. It's a game of five on third and four. The two veterans there, Wilson to Olsen for a Seattle first down. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? This is Carson. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Mike 
like a Kaiser was in on the tackle. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They run it with Carson. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. On first down. It's Carson, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Tackle made right at midfield. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. On second down now, it's Carson. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 42. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Here's Carson. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Now Wilson on first down. And the tight end, Olsen, right side. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 35, back to work on second and four. There's Wilson to throw. And Olsen over the middle. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 15-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this has started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his left. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually, a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. Second and six from the 10. They run the counter. Carson, and he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On third and one, Wilson. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. 
They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. Defensively, they better figure something out. Opening drive, he already has four catches. And if you have to figure out how to stop him defensively, that usually means you weaken your defense. That means that now the offense is doing the dictating, and they should have other things open up as well. First and goal from just inside the five. Now it's Carson, and he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal, and they sent that play backwards. Second and goal from the six this time. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. The ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Wilson connects with Tyler Lockett. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because really, second down, second and goal, that's your play action time. And you're not sure whether they're going to run it or throw it. Third down, you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it. Even more impressive that they got it done. And on the opening drive of the game. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. What a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. On the return, it's Simba Webster. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Rams taking the field and leading the way. The man from Cal, the former number one overall pick, Jared Goff. There's a toughness about Jared Goff that maybe he doesn't get enough credit for. His freshman year at Cal, team went 1-11. His rookie year with the Rams, he was 0-7 as a starter. Undaunted in either case, and has come back each and every time to flash the ability that made him the number one overall pick in the draft when he came out of Cal. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. It's well, time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Yeah. 
They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, they just watched the other team take the ball downfield and score, so they knew that this drive, this opening drive, was on them. And, boy, that was important to pick up that first down there and keep this one going. down. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. They'll run on first down with Akers. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll run a draw now with Akers. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 31. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up third and inches. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Now a run with Akers. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. sideline but it's incomplete incomplete on the throwaway makes it second and ten at the 23 yard line trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks on second and ten golf that's into the hands of Reynolds and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive. Two for two. Goff now to throw. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Go! 
Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now a toss running left. Akers pushing through the contact. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. I like the call. Inside the red zone running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guys at the cornerback position. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the gun, here's gone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Robert Woods from Jared Goff. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And he's got it up and through. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is D.J. Reed returning. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He gives it off to Carson. And he stopped immediately there. Carson on the carry. No gain on the play there. Second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson eluding the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. first down it's Carson and he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory it's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage they almost feel like he's one of them and they really embrace it So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Left side complete to Lockett. 
And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On first down, Wilson. Flush to his right. He'll run it. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. To throw again on second down. Wilson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first down, Carson, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards of carry at the moment. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, Wilson, out to the right. He gets it to Lockett. Five yards, now it's third and five. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. The Seahawks on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. He loses four, and it brings up four. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. On comes the Seahawk Jason kicker Myers here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And Myers able to knock it through. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Set to go again. Here's Cam Akers in the L.A. offense. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On 
on the ground. It's Akers. And very little daylight there. They'll get a couple up to the 44. I think we put together a job description for a middle linebacker. We would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. From the 44, Goff, that's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Rams. former USC man, the intended target, but it'll be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. A shotgun snap for gone. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. The Rams on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and ten. Airing it out deep for Woods. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle the team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. Now a first down throw, gone. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, right, and on running plays, Runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. Not able to get a single yard there, and it'll bring up third down. Now, they couldn't get anything going there out of the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but... Obviously, the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Third and two, golf. They got a man, it's Woods. And the Rams are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. time rolls around. Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Jared Reed muscles his way in for the sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts.
First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Out of the gun, gone. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Now Goff on third and goal. Just what Seattle was hoping for. The coverage holds. And now fourth down. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Matt Gay on for the field goal. A 29-yard attempt. Gay's kick is good. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. as the kicks away. Here's Reed returning. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, it's Wilson. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. the gun here's Wilson and this is going to be incomplete on fourth down ready to punt Michael Dixon Webster now to return. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Rams are going offense here for the first and 10. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. 
it's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Now gone. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because, remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. On first down, it's gone. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Uh, partner, when you see a screen pass and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't sold well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. Final shot before break here. Golf. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 45-yard line. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Jason and ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Taken in the end zone. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now Akers to start the third quarter on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Goal. His throw incomplete. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Second and ten, golf again. He wants Reynolds way downfield. And that's going to be 
too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. He was looking for Josh Reynolds that time. And it'll bring up third down. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing on third, gone. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The end result, 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. And Olsen over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Nice job there utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Push him back. Push him back. 51 51 From the gun, Wilson. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Operating from the gun, Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 23. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. On 
first down, Wilson toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf, and that'll bring up second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Second and 10, we're all knotted up at 10, but it appears that may change soon. Only question is, will they have to settle for three? Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. 12 yards there and a first down. 10 at the 11-yard line. Wilson will throw again. They'll roll him out right. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And now the Rams have got it. Go the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And at this stage in the game, sure, you wanted the touchdown. You're already in the red zone. But, boy, you squandered a chance to at least get the field goal there. So no points out of this, and we stay tied. Very disappointed team. No one more disappointed than the kicker who thought he had a chance to be the hero of the day. They, all they had to do was trot him out on the field. They didn't even give him an opportunity. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. At the eight-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the gun, here's gone. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On first and 10, gone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they obviously red man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Broke yeah, up. he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Now a first down throw, gone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Go off throwing again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Woods. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. First down, Akers 
And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Jaron Reed. It was Jaron Reed who got him down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right, it was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, golf. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 32-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now it's gone. Over the middle complete, that's Woods. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Akers. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. That was a really nice play, he able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle, he's gotta, he's gotta tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. He filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain. On second and nine, Goff. His pass caught at the four. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. First down, L.A. Goff finding Reynolds there. They'll look to run with Akers. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. Second effort there. He was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. on for the point after. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Here's Reed. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. DJ Reed on the return. The Seahawks take over first and 10. At their own Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. 
down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? On first and ten, it's Wilson. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Throwing again, Wilson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play. First down. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. the NFL on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson. And now he's going to use his legs. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. The Seahawks on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and eight. And he's got Lockett. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Wilson to Lockett there for the Seahawks first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And he's got it. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Wilson connects with Tyler Lockett. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. 
And no Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listen to history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just grab the nugget when I can. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive in total eight plays. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. On the return comes Webster. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. At their own 21-yard line. Getting set to go again here, Robert Woods marches back onto the field. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. Tyler Lockett trotting onto the field, getting set for this next drive. And when you see numbers like this from a wide receiver of his caliber, does that mean that there maybe was a meeting on the sideline to say, hey, give me the ball a little bit more? <laughs> There probably is something to that because, let's face it, the best receivers I know, they say that every play. So they, they always want the football. After the interception, here's Wilson. Flushed out right. He'll try and run it. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure that... And he will score! Touchdown, Seattle! From 17 yards out. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Did you see them hold up four fingers at the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Now Myers for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone.
Jason. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. On the return comes Webster. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Simbo Webster on the return. The Rams take over first and 10. At their L.A. Own. readies for its next possession. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. up here first and 10 at about the 32 and from the shotgun he'll throw and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down he was trying to get that one out to his running back out in the backfield but that one was red and timed perfectly and they were able to break it up here's second and 10 now from about the 32 To throw is gone. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First down, Rams. on first down that's into the hands of acres complete give him 10 yards on the pickup and it'll be second and very short just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw and in this case that's exactly what he did found his running back let him create some space it turned out to be a nice play for the offense throwing again on second down Golf Reynolds with a catch out on the right side and he'll go down here at the 35 yard line a gain of five good enough for the first down well if you do read man coverage Brandon the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it the drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown here's first and ten throwing again is gone Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. To the air again. Gone. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 14. A gain of 13, it's a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And here he'll get it down to the seven. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The last run got six, now second and four. Going right back to Akers. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. 
as big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Out of the gun. Gone. And a throw there going to be incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. They'll run for it with Akers. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he shortened the line to gain. Now comes Chris Carson in the Seattle offense. And as the numbers show, he really wasn't in the mix at the beginning, but they've got him in the rotation now, and it's proved a good move. And that's what happens when you're a good player. There's a lot more attention drawn to you, and it's obvious that they had him in their game plan on defense, not letting him get off to a good start, but he's found a way so far here in the second half. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. This now a chance at the very least to burn some clock following that fourth down stop. Points would be ideal for some breathing room, no doubt. And really, a field goal would be huge. That would make it a two-score game. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Able to break the tackle, but then quickly brought down just outside of the five. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. On third down, Wilson. He can run for it, and he will. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway. And now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. On first down, it's Carson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. stay on the ground again it's Carson and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line and now we're going to get a timeout defensively so another stop 150 left in the football game all runs on this drive so far it's first and ten They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. running back 
And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. And he'll give it here to his running back. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Now here's Michael, Michael Dixon, Dixon as he's on to punt Seahawks. for Seattle. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you just hold a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of the yeah. end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 12-yard line. Today's well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing is finishing and closing a game out. But when you flip it over, how about that? Making the comeback and then finishing the game, sealing it on defense, they will feel jubilant in their locker room. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.